In this video, I show you how to host and create a Kahoot game. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's jump straight into this guide. The first thing you need to do is go to kahoot.com. And once you're on the website, you even need to go and log into your account or go and create one. Personally, I don't already have an account, so I'm going to go and tap on sign up. And during the sign up process for Kahoot, you may be asked to subscribe. But if you scroll on the page, there'll be an option to go and continue for free. But of course, go and subscribe if you'd like to. So I now have an account and all we need to do is go and tap login in the top right. And this is going to go and take you to the Kahoot dashboard. And here we are. And then once you're on this page here, there's actually quite a few different options. So as you can see, we've got a courses section. We've got a my Kahoots and a reports. So the main thing you want to do is to go and create a Kahoot quiz. You want to go and press on create Kahoot, a course is quite different so tap on create kahoot anyway just like so and here we are and then once you're on this page here you want to come to the right and you can go and actually choose what type of question you want your first to be so as you can see at the moment um, it's set to quiz but you can have true or false um, and the others you will need to pay for so basically if you're not if you're using the free version have quiz or true or false and you've got the time limit um, points and then you've got answer options as well I personally keep this all pretty simple and let's go and create our first question. So what you want to do is type it in. So I'm gonna do like, what is two plus two? So I'll type that in now. And then once you're in your question, you can go and insert like a picture or something here, but you don't have to, you can just go and keep it blank. And then what you want to do is go and create some answers. So for this, I could go and do, for example, 22, I could do four, and I'll just type in some other random numbers, just like that. And then what you need to do is go and set the correct answer. So in this case, it'd be four. And then once you've created your first question to go and create another, you need to come over to the left-hand side, and then you can go and tap on add question, just like so. Um, and then you can go and choose what's about question, whether it be quiz or true or false. So if you want to have a quiz question, tap quiz again. And then here we are, we can now go and type in another question. And on the right hand side, once again, you can go and change the question type and the time limit, the points and the answer options. So for this next one, I'm gonna go and type in another question. And then of course, go and select the answer as well. And once again, I finished the second one. And now what you need to do is just go and repeat these steps to go and create as many questions as you'd like. And then once you're finished, what you need to do is go to the top left and go and tap on enter Kahoot title. Then you'd go and need to name this, so I can name this maths quiz, or you know, if it's for a certain class, name it for a certain class. I type maths quiz. You've got the optional description, so I could type in example. And then what you want to do is save it to a folder. I'm just gonna keep it there. You've got a lobby video, that's fine. Lobby music, you can go and do that as well. And that's literally it. Then you can go and choose the cover image as well, set the language and then the visibility. So if you just want to use it for yourself, keep it private. Um, if you wanna share it to others, then make it public. But I wanna keep it private. Then just go and press done, just like so, and you've now gone and saved it. And then after you've added any more, go and tap on save in the top right, just like so, and it'll say your Kahoot is ready. Then all you want to do is either go back to editing or you can just go and press done and you'll be taken back to your Kahoot dashboard. And then you can go and view your Kahoot up here. Um, you're going to tap on it and then you can go and play it. As you can see, you can go and press start and then it's going to go and start hosting it, as you can see. Um, and then in a moment, oh, you need to go and select the mode, classic mode, of course. Um, and then what you need to do is give the pin to people um, and then you can go and start the game. And it's literally that easy. If you found this guide useful, please go down below and consider leaving a like. Peace.